Antonio Conte is joining Napoli, Mike. Crazy. Can you can you believe this? I still don't believe it. It is unbelievable. We we just saw the news. We're here in the studio working, and Sky Italia have put that only thing is missing for Conte to Napoli is the signature three year contract, six million a season, and maybe the announcement can be as soon as Monday. De Laurentiis knows that. They had a really bad year. They went from first place to 10th, the worst um, defending champions ever in Serie A history. They won't be playing in any European competitions next year, but he's making a statement by bringing Antonio Conte. Mike, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, these are, this is one of those transfers that if you if you asked me a couple of weeks ago, I'd be like, nah, that would never happen. It just doesn't gel. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit who both of them are. Uh, Conte is fiery, explosive, passionate, and so do, so is ADL. And maybe ADL was just so mad at himself for letting go of Spalletti and having a horrible season after that incredible Scudetto run that he was like, listen, let me bite, bite my tongue. Let me give the fans what they want. Step aside and get them Conte. He's going to be the most paid uh, manager for uh, Napoli's history, so it's going to be insane. It'll be one of the most paid uh, in Serie A mm -hmm. in general. There's a lot of rumors about signings. We'll get to that in this video. Um, we also want to ask the question about if they can compete for the title for the Serie A Scudetto. Before we do, let's go a little bit deeper on Conte and, and Napoli. I too said a few months ago, I was like, there's no way De Laurentiis and Conte for their fiery personalities are going to mesh. But I actually think, I mean, it probably won't. In like two, three years time, they will probably end in the same way that we know with Conte. But this is almost the perfect situation for Antonio Conte. He, There's no coach in the world better at building up teams in a quicker time than Antonio Conte. When he joined Juventus, they finished seventh place two times in a row. He won them the Scudetto that season against a Milan of Ibrahimovic and Thiago Silva, a very well-developed team with a very poor roster. Then he went to Chelsea. They finished 10th place the season he arrived. They won the Premier League. He joined Inter. Similar situation. Hadn't won forever since, I think, Mori and since the Mourinho years. The first year, they nearly did it against Sarri's Juve, which had Cristiano Ronaldo. The second year... He built the foundations for them to win the Scudetto. Yes, it didn't work at Tottenham, but this is a serial winner. Joining Anopoli that, while it hasn't been good this year, they just won the Scudetto the year before. This is definitely a contest forte over here. The only thing he probably wishes is that Napoli didn't win the Scudetto just so there could be even more celebrations for when he wins it. Because he usually wins the Scudetto after being in a huge drought, after being a gap of them not winning in a while. There's only one in 33 years. I think they'll they'll be happy with oh, that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, but their personalities do fit, though, for that reason. Conte, Southern, the fans he's going to love the Napoli the fans. fans. They're going to embrace him to the absolute max because they're some of the most passionate in Italy. He's one of the most passionate coaches. I mean, oftentimes his team score a goal and he's jumping into the crowd and hugging and kissing people. That's also what you yeah. love about him. I think it's actually the perfect environment for him in that case. Yeah, in terms of the fans, I think the fans are going to really love him because he's a Southern coach at the end of the day. And um, it's just my only question mark is if uh, ADL and Conte, if they're going to butt heads or they're going to gel and I think that's the biggest question mark. Everything else, I think the fans are going to love him. This is going to be his first Southern job. And I think it's going to mean a lot more than him than the other coaches he he coached for. Because he has a lot of similarities with a team like Napoli. So let's talk about the signings and potential departures. Because the rumors have been floating around. First thing is Kvada. There was talks of the $100 million offer from PSG. This morning, a lot of the reports, Correa del, Sera, sorry, Correa del Sport says... Even 110 million, they don't want to negotiate. They want to keep Kvara at Napoli under Conte. He could do amazing things. It seems like they put the line. Osimen, we've known for months that he's going to be leaving the club. It doesn't seem like the Chelsea because Fabrizio Romano put today that they're not interested in bringing him in. So hopefully Arsenal or PSG come up to the 120 million. But it doesn't mean that Lukaku wouldn't be the replacement. I mean, I would love the Lukaku uh, transfer just because the nostalgia of, and they were incredible together, regardless of what it is. But do you think Lukaku can get his spark back if he does go to Napoli? Under, I, I, had, I made a joke a couple weeks ago, again, before I knew where Conte was going. And I said, wherever 
Conte goes, Lukaku should just beg and tell Chelsea, no matter what, I need to go there. Now this year, Chelsea's trying to play hardball. They're like, oh, we want 38 million yeah, to sell him. They also tried to do this last year, and then they gave Roma a loan. So I don't know how much to believe in that. He needs Conte because Conte puts him at the center of his teams. He was never in a better physical shape. The entire game revolves around him. He could run into space. He knows his movement. It would absolutely be the right thing. And the biggest thing is, can you imagine Conte and uh, Lukaku on an outplay side that only has to play one game a week. Well, the rest of the yeah, we have five teams that are going to be in Champions League, and it's going to take out of them. It, it sets itself up perfectly. Well, do you think, but do you think he can repli replicate that in third season? I think people are naive for thinking that they can. I, I see really? Napoli. I know it sounds crazy because ever putting Napoli in the favorites list is, I mean, they've only won three Scudetti in their entire uh, careers as a, as a club. When you bring Conte to a team, you're immediately telling everyone that you're going to compete. I would not bet against a guy, a Conte that is in Napoli, also has the foundations because they had just won two years ago. They need a couple moves, but if they sell Osimhen, they have 120 million to spell, spend. Mm -hmm. He is really good at getting smaller talents, cheaper talents, and then making them do a lot of better and overachieving. I see Napoli up there as... Top three favorites for the league. Inter is going to be first, mm. no matter what, because they do. They're they're just amazing. But it's still, we haven't seen the team yet. But two, three, I'm putting them up there. I say top two. I go even higher than top you. two. I just feel like this is a this is a recipe for everything that Conte wants right here. Mm. They're playing uh, one comp uh, one competition week. They don't play Europe, and Conte knows how to get the best out of this team. He knows how to. He just knows what to do. This is his kind. Of, this will motivates him. This will gets him fired up. And to go against his former team Inter, who he built up, that's gonna be such a good scudetto race. I got called crazy. Uh, I said it on CBS this week. I said the same thing. Two, three. Uh, Matteo Grella, they went crazy, and even Bobo Vieri commented on uh, on the post. He said Marco's on vacation mode already. But I, I know it. I know it is crazy, but. Having followed and witnessed Conte's career like so closely, I was I was listening and reading the news and watching every single moment of Conte in 2011, and then I followed every moment at Chelsea. I've seen this script before, and then when he went to Inter, I knew he was going to do it again, even when it did seem impossible. It might not be a big long-term project, but in the immediate short term, in the one to two years, I think we see Napoli compete for Scudetto. They're going to get close. Maybe they don't win it at the end, but they will be up there for fighting for the title. That's besides the point. Right? I think 100%. So are, are I, we both just like lunatics? No, I think Conte is just, he's that kind of, he's that kind of a coach. Let us know in the comment section I below. So. The other names that they're talking about, Buongiorno in defense, which I think would be an amazing signing. I would also love to see him go somewhere like Napoli. I think it's perfect. Torino mm -hmm. is going to sell him. His work uh, there would be uh, brilliant. Foloruncho could come back because Napoli do own him. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Cambiaghi. There's a lot of names floating around, but I think they are the right profiles. And once Conte knows his his team, then he can start making the decisions once he knows he's going there because Di Lorenzo is another big talking point. There are reports that he agreed a deal to go to Juventus. They said that he's not happy at Napoli. Don't know what happened because he was such an important figure for this club. Just seconds ago, Napoli tweeted out that he's not going, he's not going anywhere. to Juventus or, or he's not going anywhere. Dude, I love contract. Napoli's Twitter again. Do you? It's so funny. They they, they, could, they just put random breaking news. And you know, ADL was behind the admins. Oh, like, hurry up, hurry up and tweet it out. Yeah, sometimes their social doesn't really look like a, a team social. No. I but, guess we could say it like that. But it's, they do whatever the hell they want. It's, it's fun uh, being a follower of them for sure. Sometimes. So, but they say that uh, Conte wants to keep Di Lorenzo and that he'd be important. If there's any coach that could get Di Lorenzo back to where it would be, oh, it me. would be Spalletti for the Italian national team, followed by Conte for, uh, for Napoli. But guys, let us know in the comment section below what you think are we crazy where does this Napoli finish because there's also I have uncertainties around the other teams like Milan under still don't have a coach if it could be Fonseca maybe I have question marks how do they reinforce there's a report today that Theo Hernandez to Bayern Munich for 80 million Inter's going to be solid as I said Latorre Martinez they announced today that he's going to be renewing 9 million a season uh, contract until 2029 Juventus under Thiago Motta will probably take a lot more time than Juventus fans would wish. Do Can they bring in cup miners? There's a lot of question marks I have around there. Um, so as far as teams that reinforced at the top, Gasperini's Atalanta, they're another team I could see fighting. 
How much do they sell? How much do they invest? All question marks, but I feel like no matter what, this Napoli is going to be competing for the title. Absolutely. There's not a doubt in my mind. Getting someone like Conte, that guarantees you competing for the Scudetto, especially if you're not in Europe. Next season is going to be incredible. Guys, hope you enjoy this video. Nice, quick style. Reminder, some of our merch, the hats are completely sold out. They, I mean, That's you guys best. killed them. And Amazing. the quantities that we got, I was scared by the number of hats that we had to yeah. order and you demolished them. We still do have flags. Sundays are for Calcio and the Forza Azzurri flags. Guys, the Euros are right around the corner. That's right. So when we sell out, I don't want to hear you guys, oh, when you get more flags, because we told you guys you had your chance. Why do you think they sound like that? I don't know. Is that their voice? I just hope they don't sound like me. <laughs> I lost my voice over here. The world would be a better place if it's not. Also, this jersey, we've been putting out right. the marketing for it. When is June it? 7th. That's Friday, right. June 7th. These are going to release and they are going to fly. They are absolutely going to fly. Huge quantities. If we're able to sell out within the first day, it will be something that we never planned for. But just having seen some of the comments online, I have a feeling there's so much detail, so much time, months, years gone into creating this. And guys, the packaging is so nice. You can literally wrap this up for a gift, even a Christmas gift in months and events because it's the packaging is incredible. Or Euro's gift. Because if you get it on the Everything. 7th and then we yeah. still have our game against Albania, especially yeah. if you're in the United States, you could get it in no time. So hope you enjoy. Make sure you shop ItalianFootballTV.com because we do have some other items okay. on available. Let us know in the comment section below what you think about Conte and as always, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao ragazzi.